Hi everyone, welcome back. In the previous videos, we have studied arithmetic and geometric progressions. Now we are moving forward to the third type of progression, harmonic progression. Now what is a harmonic progression? A sequence of series is said to be in harmonic progression if reciprocals of all its terms form an arithmetic progression. Guys, remember, zero is excluded. We write it in short as HP. Now, how do we represent the harmonic progression? Let us say we are given an arithmetic progression. If the first term of the progression is A and D is the common difference, then the terms of the arithmetic progression will be A a plus d, a plus 2d, a plus n minus 1d. Now, take the reciprocal of all these terms. So, reciprocal of a will be 1 upon a. Reciprocal of a plus d will be 1 upon a plus d. And the reciprocal of the nth term will be 1 upon a plus n minus 1d. Now, this progression which we've got by taking the reciprocals of the arithmetic progression given above is called the harmonic progression. Now, here remember a is the first term of the AP, d is the common difference of the AP. The nth term of an HP is very easy to find. All we have to do is we just take the reciprocal of the nth term of the AP. So the nth term of an HP is nothing but 1 upon the nth term of AP. And you know that the nth term of AP was A plus n minus 1d. So your nth term we denoted by Tn is nothing but 1 upon a plus n minus 1d. Few things to note. If you are given three terms which are in HP, let's say a, b and c, then the middle term b is nothing but two times the product of the first and the third divided by the sum of the first and third. So we say b is nothing but 2ac upon a plus C. So here B is nothing but 2AC upon A plus C. Now, what if we are asked to take three terms, consecutive terms of an HP, we take them as 1 upon A minus D, 1 upon A, 1 upon A plus D. This we would be using for problems. If you are asked to take four terms of an HP, we'll take them as 1 upon a minus 3d, 1 upon a minus d, 1 upon a plus d, and 1 upon a plus 3d. So whenever we have four terms, this is what we take. What if you are asked to take five terms of the harmonic progression? Then we take them as 1 upon a minus 3d, 1 upon a minus d, 1 upon a, 1 upon a plus d and 1 upon 3, a plus 3d. Coming to the sum of n terms of a HP, you saw that when we found the nth term of a HP, all we did was we took the reciprocal of the nth term of AP and we got the nth term Tn as 1 upon a plus n minus 1d. But when we find the sum of n terms, we do not take the reciprocal. It's not as simple as that. So, the sum of n terms of a HP is denoted by Sn and we use the formula Sn is equal to 1 upon d natural logarithm ln brackets 2a plus 2n minus 1 multiplied by d divided by 2a minus d. Where? A is the first term of the arithmetic progression and D is the common difference of the arithmetic progression. Here you have to remember 
the denominator 2a minus d should not vanish. When will it uh, be 0? When my 2a is equal to d. So the condition is 2a should not be equal to d and d should always be positive. Now, before we come to the examples, let us see how do these progressions get their name. In music, say we have a fundamental frequency of some periodic signal of some note. Then harmonics are positive multiples of the wavelength of the fundamental frequency. Fundamental frequency is called the first harmonics. While playing string instruments, harmonics are used to get notes that have a unique sound called the tone color. Harmonics can be first or half or one third or one fourth or one fifth of the wavelength of the fundamental frequency. So, if all these harmonics are used, we get a series 1 plus 1 by 2 plus 1 by 3 plus 1 by 4. You see, in this series, our reciprocals form an arithmetic progression. Just because we have used harmonics, we call such a series a harmonic series. So, they get the name from music, harmonics in music. Coming to the examples. Come to the first example. Here, we are asked to find whether the given progression 1 by 2, 1 by 4, 1 by 6, 1 by 8, this forms a harmonic progression or not. The first thing we'll do is take the reciprocal of all the terms. So, the reciprocals are 2, 4, 6, 8. Now, you see that this is nothing but an arithmetic progression. The common difference here is nothing but 2. As the reciprocals form an AP given progression is a harmonic progression. Come to the second question. Find the fourth and the seventh term of the harmonic progression 2, 6 by 5, 6 by 7. So here we are given the HP. What will we do? We will use our formula for the nth term. First, let's write the reciprocals. So the reciprocals will be 1 upon 2, 5 by 6, 7 by 6. Now, as it's in it's a HP. All our reciprocals should be in arithmetic progression. Let's see what is the common difference of the AP. Now this is AP. So remember guys, whenever our terms are in increasing order, we will use second term minus first term for finding D. Whenever they are decreasing, as D has to be positive, always write the series in reverse order. So here, as our D for this arithmetic progression will be nothing but 5 by 6 minus 1 by 2. You will see this comes out to be 1 by 3. So D is 3. And what is our A value? A is half. So we have A value as half and D as 1 by 3. What will be the fourth term of the AP? So fourth term of the arithmetic progression, we'll write it as A4. We are using A, N for n terms of AP, Tn for n terms of HP. 
this would be nothing but the first term half plus n minus 1 that is 3 4 minus 1 into d and d is nothing but 1 by 3. So here we have used the formula a n is a n is a plus n minus 1 d for a p because here we have an a p remember that. So what does a4 come out to be? This on simplifying gives us 3 by 2. Now this is the fourth term of AP. So fourth term of HP will be nothing but 1 upon 3 by 2 which is nothing but 2 by 3. So this is our fourth term of the harmonic progression. Now come to the seventh term. For seventh term of AP, we will again use the formula and we will get A7 is nothing but a remains half plus 7 minus 1 into d which is 1 by 3. This on simplifying gives us 5 by 2. So what is the seventh term of hp? The one we are doing will be 1 upon 5 by 2 which is nothing but 2 by 5. So this is the seventh term of the HP. In the third example, we are given the fourth term of the HP as 1 by 10 and the seventh term as 1 by 19. We are asked to find the tenth term of the HP. Now you are given Fourth term of HP is fourth term of HP as 1 by 10. So fourth term of AP will be 10, reciprocal of that. Same way, the seventh term of AP will be 19. Now let's use the formula of AP. A n is A plus n minus 1 d. You know that A4 is 10 and that will be A. We do not know what is the first term. So A plus 4 minus 1 into d. d is also unknown. This gives us a plus 3d is 10. And in the same way we get a 7 which is 19 is equal to a plus 7 minus 1 into d. This implies a plus 6d is 19. Now, you solve these two equations, you will get solving gives us a value as 1 and d value as 3. So the AP which we get is nothing but 1, 1 plus 3 which is 4, 4 plus 3 which is 7 and it goes on. You are asked to find the 10th 
term of the HP. So, what will be the 10th term of AP? Let's find that first. 10th term of the arithmetic progression will be A10, which is nothing but A plus 10 minus 1 into D. Substitute the values of A and D. We will get 1 plus 9 into D, which is 3. So, you get this as 28. What will then be the 10th term of the HP? The 10th term, 10th term, the 10 of HP will be 1 upon 28. So, our T10 comes out to be 1, 10. This is the answer. You could have just completed the AP and counted what my 10th term is. Using the formula is much easier. Let's come to the fourth sum. Here, we are asked to find the sum of 10 terms of the harmonic progression 1 by 2, 1 by 5, 1 by 8, 1 by 11. Now, it goes on. We will use the formula for finding the sum of n terms. Sn is approximately equal to 1 by d natural logarithm ln 2a plus 2n minus 1d upon 2a minus d, where a and d are the first term and the common difference of the arithmetic progression. So, let's first write our AP. So, what will be our arithmetic progression? That will be the reciprocal of all the terms 2, 5, 8, 11. This is the AP. You see, A is nothing but 2, the first term of the arithmetic progression, and a D value is nothing but 3. So, what does SN become when we substitute in the formula? It would be approximately 1 by 3 natural logarithm 2 into 2 plus 2 into 10 because our n is 10 minus 1 into d which is 3 divided by 2 times a which is 2 minus d which is 3. So, what is n? n is 10. So, we have s10 the sum of n terms approximately equal to 1 by 3 natural logarithm, simplify this, you will get 61. This value comes out to be 1.37. So, the sum of 10 terms is approximately 1.37. Now, two things to note. First, this sum is an approximation. This sum is an approximation. It's not exact. If you want to check, let's write our HP. You know that the HP is 1 by 2 plus 1 by 5 plus 1 by 8, 1 by 11, 1 by 14, 1 by 17, 1 by 20, 1 by 23. How many terms do we have? Do we have 10? Plus 1 by 26, plus 1 by 29. Now we have 10 terms. You see here, these are the terms of the HP. If you add, you will see this comes out to be 1.21, which is different from what we've got above. So, this is just an approximation which you get from the formula. 
Second thing which you have to remember is that we will not take the reciprocal of the sum of n terms of an AP here because that formula cannot be applied here. In the fifth question, we are asked to find the sum of n terms of a harmonic regression 1, 1 by 3, 1 by 5, 1 by 7 and goes on. Now, this question I have specially taken just to show you what happens if in the formula for sum, Sn is approximately equal to 1 by d natural logarithm 2a plus 2n minus 1d divided by 2a minus d, the denominator becomes 0. This is what will happen in this question. So, how do we solve such a problem? Now, if you write the AP of this progression, you will get 1, 3, 5, 7, it goes on. A will be 1 and D value will be 2. So, the denominator, you see, will be 2 into 1 minus 2, which will be 0. We do not want the denominator to be 0. So, we cannot apply the formula directly. As 2A minus B should not be equal to 0. What we'll do? We will write our series harmonic progression as, let's see, I'll just uh, write here note the formula cannot be applied be applied. So, what will we do? Now, we will write our series as we need to find S10. So, we will write S10 as 1 plus and then take the remaining terms so that we can avoid taking our A as 1. We will have 1 by 3 plus 1 by 5 plus 1 by 7 up to the ninth term. Because you have separated 1. Now, what we'll do? We'll write this as 1 plus we'll take the sum of nine terms using the formula. So, here you see, if you write the AP for 1 by 3, 1 by 5, 1 by 7, the, this is our HP. The AP will be 3, 5, 7, this will be the AP. A will be 2. Your D value will be 2. A is 3, sorry. A is 3. D is 2. And your N in our case will be 9. So, our formula will give us S10 is approximately 1 plus 1 by 2 natural logarithm. Now, we are applying the formula for this part. Natural logarithm 2 into a, which is 2 into 3, plus 2 times n. For us, n is 9 because we are taking 9 terms only. Minus 1 into d, which is 2, divided by 2 into 3, as our a is 3, minus 2. So you will get this right hand side as 1 plus 1 by 2. Simplify this, you will get natural logarithm 10. This value you will see will come out to be 2.15. So, S 
10 is approximately 2.15. Come to the sixth sum. If the sum of reciprocals of first nine terms of a harmonic progression is 162, find the fifth term. Now, here it says that the sum of the reciprocals of the first nine terms of a HP. Reciprocals will be in arithmetic progression. So, which means that we are given the sum of nine terms of an AP to be 162. All right. Let's use the formula for sum for the AP. So, we will have 162 is equal to n by 2. n is 9, 9 terms. n by 2, 2 times a. We do not know what a is. Plus, now you have 9 terms. So, we have 9 minus 1 into d, which is also not known to us. This gives us 18 on simplifying, 18 is equal to a plus 4d. Let's call it 1. We will just underline this so that we will use it. Now, what have we been asked? We are asked to find the fifth term. To find the fifth term. Now, this is still an AP. We have to find the fifth term of an AP. For terms, you remember, we take reciprocal and we get the nth or required term of the harmonic progression. So, we will use the formula a n is a plus n minus 1 d. Now, for us, A5, we need to find A5. A5 will be A. We do not know what our A is. So, we just write A plus fifth term. So, 5 minus 1 into D. D is not known to us. What is the right hand side? It's A plus 4D. This, let's call 2. So, from 1, a plus 4d is nothing but 18. So, a5 becomes 18. See, all we've done is a plus 4d we have taken from 1 and put as 18. So, a5 becomes 18. What will be the fifth term? of HP, that is T5, that will be 1 upon 18. So, this is what we get as the fifth term of the HP. In the seventh question, we are asked, what number should be added to 3, 5 and 9 so that they form a harmonic progression? Now, if you remember, we did if A, B, and C are in harmonic progression, then that implies B is equal to 2 A into C upon A plus C. This is what we will use. But first, let's say, let us add X to 3, 5, and 9 so that they form a harmonic progression. Now, first of all, what will be the terms? Our terms will be 3 plus x, 5 plus x, and 9 plus x. Use the above formula we will get 5 plus x 
is equal to 2 times 3 plus x 9 plus x divided by 3 plus x plus 9 plus x. Now this gives us 5 plus x into 12 plus 2x is equal to 2 times 3 plus x 9 plus x. Simplify. x square will cancel and you would get x is equal to 3. So 3 should be added. To make it a harmonic progression. One more question we'll do. Question number 8. If the sum of three consecutive terms of a harmonic progression is 1 by 3 and the sum of its reciprocals is 3, find the three numbers. If you remember, we did this. Whenever we are asked to take three terms of a harmonic progression, we take them to be 1 upon a minus d, 1 upon a, and 1 upon a plus d. Now, what is given to us? The sum of the three terms is 1 by 3. So, we will say 1 upon a minus d plus 1 upon a plus 1 upon a plus d is 1 by 3. Simplify. You will get 3 a square minus d square upon a a square minus d square is 1 by 3. Let's call this 1. Equation 1. Then, second thing which is given to us is the sum of the 3 reciprocals is 3. Reciprocals of the 3 terms 1 upon a minus d, 1 upon a and 1 upon a plus d are a minus d plus a plus a plus d. So, sum of these three reciprocals is given to be 3. Now, this gives us 3a is equal to 3 or a is equal to 1. We have a value which is 1. Now, a is 1. Put a is equal to 1 in our equation 1. What will we get d as? d will come out to be 2. So, d comes out to be 2. Now, we have a and d values. What will be the three terms of the HP? Substitute a and d in your three terms. So, we have 1 upon a minus d, 1 upon a and 1 upon a plus d as 1 upon 1 minus 2, 1 upon 1 and 1 upon 1 plus 2. So, these are the three terms which is minus 1, 1 and 1 by 3. They are in HP. We are not done guys. I take this opportunity to explain some special cases. What if we are given a series 1 upon 1 to the power p plus 1 upon 2 to the power p, nth term being 1 upon n to the power p, it goes on till infinity. We can always write it as summation n value 1 to infinity 1 upon n to the power p. Then here such a series is called a p series. P can take any integer values, but p is positive. Whenever p is greater than 1, such a series converges. And whenever p value is either 1 or less than 1, it diverges. So, if you remember, you must have done 
when you did series in your calculus, how we find the convergence using p series. Whenever p value is 1, we will get a harmonic series 1 upon 1 plus 1 upon 2 plus 1 upon 3 plus 1 upon 4. This is a harmonic series. You can see the reciprocals 1, 2, 3, 4, they are all in arithmetic progression. And it has been proved that such a series is a divergent series. If we want to find the sum of n terms, 1 plus 1 by 2 plus 1 by 3 plus 1 by n, it's approximately natural logarithm n plus gamma where gamma value, which is known as the Euler form uh, constant, is 0 0.577. The partial sums of these terms, if we just take the sum of the first term, it's called h1. If you take the sum of next two terms, that is 1 plus half, that's known as h2. h3 is the sum of 3 terms. These are known as harmonic numbers. So before we stop, let's look at some applications of harmonic series. I'll start with a puzzle, the leaning tower of Lyra. Now what is the puzzle? Here it says you have to place uniform blocks one over the other sideways so that they do not fall. Now, when the blocks are stacked in harmonic progression, half, 1 by 4, 1 by 6, 1 by 8, distances sideways above the original block, it ensures that the center of gravity is at the center of the structure so that the blocks do not fall. Now, what is 1 by 2, 1 by 4, 1 by 6, 1 by 8? You see, it's a harmonic progression. The reciprocals 2, 4, 6, 8, they all are in arithmetic progression. The next puzzle is a very old puzzle dated 9th century. It was posed by Alcuin. It was about a camel trying to cross a desert with brain on his back. So now there are many, many variations of that problem. I have taken here the simplest one, the jeep problem. How far can a jeep go in the desert with a given fuel capacity if he can store and come back to the base camp and use the stored fuel in his next trip? So. He can store here, it says that he can store the fuel at some depots in between. Now, one of the formulas which has been given for finding how far or the farthest point the jeep can go with F units of fuel is 1 plus 1 by 3 plus 1 by 5 plus 1 by 7 dash dash plus 1 upon 2f minus 1 here. What do these fractions 1 by 3, 1 by 5, 1 by 7 and all mean? It means that uh, he goes one third of a, a distance with whatever fuel he has, units of fuel. He can always store fuel in the depot. Then come back to the base camp, get his fuel filled. Next time he goes, and now he takes a distance of 1 plus 1 by 3 plus 1 by 5. So in this formula, you see, we have a harmonic progression. If you take the reciprocals, you see it's an AP, 1, 3, 5, 7. So harmonic progressions are also used for solving these puzzles. There are, as I mentioned, many variations. In one of the variations, Jeep is just crossing the desert or going up to the maximum distance possible. In another word, it's going and coming. In another uh, version, there are many Jeeps going. Lot of problems have been solved since then. I leave it to you. There are many beautiful applications of harmonic series. You can check. The next topic 
is permutations and combinations. You can check my website profpritivajpay.com. You can go to courses under that. Check remedial for all the notes and exercises. Thank you for watching.